okay good day guys good day to you all welcome back to the formula sports channel thanks for being here a gentle reminder as always to please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it is indeed a free way to support the channel and of course as always we do appreciate the support so guys um i want to talk a little bit about this this topic you guys might have seen the thumbnail and the title um i don't really hear many people talking about it as much as i think i mean you, you hear people talking about it but i don't hear other platforms really talking about it and i really want to talk about it because i think it's a big deal it's a big deal when one of our young players gets a move to a club in a first division in europe right and that is the case with ex jc standout norman campbell Right, many of you would have known that Norman was in the Serbian second division with Grafica, right at the right for this um, season that has just been concluded. But from what we understand, from what reliable and credible sources like Transfer Market and Sofa Score is saying, is that Norman is lined up to move to. Um, a, a new club in the Serbian first division, FK Kuka Riki. Um, I don't know if I got that one right. Truth be told, um, some of these clubs in some of these countries, it's difficult to pronounce their name. To be honest with you, I wasn't really familiar with this club. Right, the, the clubs that I know for the most part in Serbia is I know a couple of them. I'm familiar with a couple of them, especially. Red Star Belgrade and Partizan Belgrade. Many of you would, would know of those two because those two are the two biggest clubs out of Serbia and they feature heavily in the European competitions, whether it is um, the Champions League or the Europa League, right? Red Star Belgrade and Partizan Belgrade always battling it out for honors in the Serbian first division, right? But this club. FK Kukariki. It, it it seems to be a, 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 a well in the last couple of years they have done well right and from what we understand they are the first club or the first professional club in Serbia to be fully privatized right it's considered by many to be the first pro club in Serbia to be fully privatized right and since this new owner has taken charge right um dragon or bradovic right since he has taken charge of this particular club they have seemed to have to to, to be on the up right they, they seem to be on the up right in the last couple of seasons um well they just concluded seasoning in 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 serbia in europe the 2021 season fk kukariki finished third third in the serbian league behind partisan belgrade and red star belgrade right um party no red star i think won it and partisan came second right and you know the last couple of seasons they haven't they haven't been doing too badly at all right the 2019 2020 season they finished sixth right the fourth division they finished the sorry the 2018 29th the 2018-2019 season, they finished fourth, right? The 2017-2018 season, they finished third. The 2016-2017 finish season, rather. The 2016-2017 season was the lowest they have finished in a while. They finished ninth. But 2015-2016 and 2014-2015, they finished third, right? So in the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seasons, FK Kukariki has finished third on four occasions in the last seven seasons in the Serbian first division. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. The club has finished third in four of the last seven Serbian seasons. Right? So it's a club that has been doing well in the, in the, in the reasonably well in the last couple of seasons. They have had issues um breaking into the the top two 
you know obviously those two spots are, are being occupied by red star and and partisan right and uh, you know those two have, have, have for a long time been battling it out for top honors in serbia right but you know so it's a it's a it's it's well they finished third in the just concluded season so it's it's a fairly big club if you're going off of what has taken place in the last couple of seasons in serbia it's one of the top clubs in serbia over the last couple of seasons right so it's a big deal it's a big deal man and while it hasn't been confirmed by either norman or kukarika <laughs> kukariki as yet while the club nor player have confirmed it um official sources are saying that the move you know is is scheduled to take place well what, what is taking place is that from my understanding of it his loan at grafica isn't finished as yet right his, his, his contract at grafica isn't finished as yet it is scheduled to be finished on the 30th of june and i think because of that neither club nor player has officially come forward and stated that this move has has, has taken place but norman is following fk kuka riki on instagram and fk kuka riki is following him as well so you know by all indicators and by official sources as well like transfer market and sofa score credible official sources it does appear as if when his time at grafica finishes on june the 30th norman will be switching clubs to the serbian first division fk kukariki one of the top clubs um in the last couple of seasons in serbia you know norman did well in uh, at, at grafica he did well at grafica three goals and two assists in 12 games right for the attacking player right he, he he did well he did well right that's what five goal contributions in 12 games not bad not bad especially for your first season in europe right and he impressed well enough to earn a move the 21 year old impressed well enough to earn a move to one of the top clubs in the in the first division of serbia moving up from the second division in serbia going to the first division in serbia right i mean it's a good look it's a good look i mean this club fk kukariki you know as as fielded players like alexander kolarov you know many of you would know of this color of player you know ex manchester city um star right and he's a former player of the club right alexander kolarov is a past player of fk kukariki right so you know it's a big deal it's a big deal that that goes to show you that this club you know has some level of european prestige they have also played in the europa league as well so you know that go, that just goes to show you that this club does indeed have some level of prestige you know it's it's very good for norman to be moving to a club that a player of the likes of alexander kolarov has previously played right so hopefully norman campbell can go to fk kukariki and break into the starting lineup sooner rather than later i don't think it's gonna be that easy the serbian first division is no joke right it, it is no joke and you have to be a, a certain you have to be of a certain standing to be able to start for a top team in serbia right i mean the serbian league has produced a lot of top talent over the years right so you know let's just hope that norman can can go to fk kukariki and break into the starting lineup as quickly as possible right and start and go there and hit the ground running right if not you know i mean he's still a young player we still have to give the player time we're not putting too much pressure on him but you know in an ideal world it would be it would be great to see him go there and hit the ground running asap you know but we we will continue to watch the player continue to monitor the player and of course continue to support this player i wish him the best going forward i wish him the best in his time in the in the big leagues in europe okay so guys that's my two cents um take care 
Stay safe and until next time.